Okay, so let's take a look at navigating the viewports here in Cinema 4D. So currently I'm in the perspective view. It says perspective right here. And this is a completely 3D view. So if I drop a cube in the scene, you can see that I can navigate around the cube completely. So it's full 3D. Now, if I come over here and click this icon, or if I middle mouse button click, I will go into a four-way view. So that's going to give me my perspective view, which is my 3D view, and three orthographic views, which are 2D views. So I can move around in the top view in two directions, and the front view, and the right view. Okay, and you can see what's happening over here in the 3D view. Now I can also change these views by clicking on the camera and changing this to a different view. I could go to the back view here, but it's still a 2D view. The only thing that is a 3D view is the perspective view, or if we drop a camera in the scene, the camera is going to be a complete 3D view. Okay, so I used the middle mouse button to get to this four-way view, but as I said, you can also use this icon that is in each one of the views. So if I wanted to bring the back view full screen, I could click on this icon. I could click on that to go back to the four-way view. I could hover over any of these views and middle mouse button click to go into that view. Back to my perspective. In addition, I can use my F keys. So F1, F2, F3, F4, and F5. Okay, so let's go back into our perspective view by middle mouse button click. So if I want to move around in the viewport, I have some options here. I've got some icons over here. This is going to allow me to orbit around. This is going to allow me to dolly. And this will allow me to pan around in my viewport. I can also use one, two, and three in the left mouse button. So one, I'm panning. Two, I'm dollying. And three, I'm going to orbit around my object. I can also hold the Alt or Option key to orbit around my object and hold the left mouse button down. Now, right now, I am sort of orbiting around this cube, but I am holding the Alt or Option key down and the left mouse button, and I'm clicking outside of the cube. If I want to orbit around a specific portion of the cube, I can just click there on the cube, and now I'm going to orbit around that particular portion of the cube. So if I wanted to zoom up on this and zoom just around this corner, I could click, left mouse button click, hold the Alt or Option key down, and orbit that way. This is indicated by the little cross that appears there. So you can see that's the point that we're orbiting around at the moment. Now we're coming around this other corner, and we can do that around the bottom as well. Okay, so let's just go ahead and delete this. Throw something else in the scene here. Let's get a sphere. And I want to direct your attention to the little gizmo here. We call it the gizmo, and it's got three arrows, a green one, a blue one, and a red one. So the blue one represents the z-axis, and it is for forwards and backwards. The green arrow represents the y-axis, and this is up and down. And you can notice that I am actually grabbing the arrow itself, and it's confining it to up and down only. So I can't move it. You can see I can't move it around when I grab it that way. Same thing with the Z. I can only move it in that backward and forward direction. The red is the X, and that is left and right. Now, this particular coordinate system represents the coordinate system for this particular object. There is also a world coordinate system down here. I don't want you to get too concerned about it right now. I just want you to be aware of it. Okay, so that's the basics of navigating the viewport here in Cinema 4D.